we knew going on the road was not going to be easy, and um, I thought Northwest Nazarene played great. Um, and we kept it close. I mean, same thing on the road. You try to keep it close. And then we had a senior step up. Ronnie Baker hit two threes. Um, what was good was and interesting and cool was, uh, you know, once we got into overtime, I mean, all three overtimes, we grabbed the lead right away. First two, we couldn't finish it. And then finally the third one, we kept at it and we finished it. But, um, you know, we we're very fortunate in regular in the in regulation to get it to overtime. And, uh, but our guys, you know, they just – they hung in there, hung in there, hung in there, found a way to get it done. And it was a huge lift for us to get that one on Thursday. I had my concerns going into Saturday in that uh, coming off a triple overtime, um, we played some guys a lot of minutes. And then obviously the concern was there the first 15 minutes. And then we don't play with our starting center, uh, Sergei Putsar. So we had to kind of shuffle around different lineups. And then, you know, it gives guys opportunities that don't normally get minutes. And, and we had a had a player in Mike Stepovich uh, step up and and was awesome and, and uh, proved that he needs to play some minutes. Well, Stefan Tietze is you know one of our veteran guys. Uh, he's been here as long as I've been here, all three years, and and had a little bit of a struggle last year. Um, you know, we brought him off the bench, uh, but now he's really settled in well and, and having a great conference season. I mean, that's what the preseason is for: is to get you ready for conference. And and he's just you can tell he, he's having fun. Um, you know, he trusts the guys, the guys trust him, and, and he's knocking shots down. But he also, he, you know, he isn't settling all the time for that jumper and, and, and taking it to the hole, too. So I'm really excited about how he's playing in, in league. And, and same thing with Mike Stepovich. You know, uh, we're waiting for some guys off the bench to merge for us, you know, to give us a punch. And, and maybe Mike can be that guy. Obviously, he was on Saturday night, and hopefully he can be that guy uh, down the stretch here. Our goal at the beginning of the year was to, to play 18 GNAC games and let's see where we end up and, and if we can stay focused and, and uh, keep improvement as the season goes I, I think good I told him I think good things will happen and, and so far they have so now been on the road three out of four weekends you know it's now it's our turn to be home a couple weeks and, and we want to take advantage of that and uh, it starts uh, Thursday with Western and again it's a league a team that is very dangerous as was Nazarene and Central on Saturday and, and there just isn't any breaks in the schedule and and so we, we're gonna have to play well on Thursday and, and we'll see if uh, you know Sergey Putsar is back with us uh, by Thursday night and, and hopefully he is to give us some minutes at the obviously at the center spot. It's our last three games you know very important to us uh, we still have a chance to maybe be the second seed in the GNAC so you never know depends on how Western finishes out their games and of course Senior night UAA, which is always important, regardless of our record. So yeah. that's a big one. I mean, it's it's a pretty it's a pretty cool thing where we are right now. We have a really good chance to finish this thing and get these three wins at home for us and our fans. You know, because um, it's been a ride this year, and um, I think we owe that to our people here in Fairbanks to to give them these three wins at home. So Thursday, that was some spectacular. I mean, three overtimes, first time in my life at least, and a lot of other guys too from the team. So you don't see those a lot, you know. And it was bucket by bucket. It was like until the last minute, we didn't know who's going to win. So it was a pretty cool thing. And on Saturday, we had this guy next to me just stepping up from the bench and just doing his thing and shooting out from 10. And that's even more spectacular than 10 overtimes, you know. So it was just crazy to see him doing his thing. And we all glad for Mike. And uh, we were really glad he stepped up that night. Uh, it was amazing. It was, it was a lot of fun. I just was having fun out there. and. I was getting open looks, and that's I like to shoot, so I was just shooting the shooting the open shots and getting to the hole a little bit. So it was fun to help the team though and get a get a comeback win there on to finish a two and two road trip. So just really exciting. I mean, there's no secret. It's just everything that we work hard uh, in the beginning of the year and everything is just settling, you know. And I'm playing relaxed, more relaxed. The team is playing more relaxed. Uh, I mean, you saw it last weekend, we could have folded both games, but we didn't. And I think that's one other thing that got, got me going, you know, just the determination from the team. And I mean, I, I get the energy from the guys. So that's what gets me going.